A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believe in him might not perish, but might have instead eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A few weeks ago, a group of about 35 of us were in Spain. And I love Spain, the, the culture, the history, the art, the food, and, and don't forget the wine. But interestingly, this time, none of those were really the highlight. The highlight was something totally unexpected. We traveled on the high-speed train. We took it first from Barcelona in the north down to Madrid, which is in the center of the country, and then we later took it again from Madrid down to Seville in the south. The train travels at 220 miles an hour, and you don't know that you're moving. Plush seats, uh, room to move around, etc. It, 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 it was an incredible experience. They bring in the, you leave the station, and they, the doors open, and they wheel in the complimentary drinks and the complimentary food, and it was good food. If I remember correctly, it took the motor coach eight and a half hours to bring our luggage from Barcelona down to Madrid. And we made it on the high-speed train in two hours and two minutes. It was an incredible experience. I share that with you because I think there's an analogy. If we understand the feast that we're celebrating today, the Holy Trinity, you and I are on a fast track to salvation. What do I mean? We have three persons. God the Father gave us life. He created us. And remember that not one of us in this room ever did anything to deserve that gift. He just freely gave it to us. And beyond that, I could have been born in Syria or Afghanistan. But no, he gave me life here with all of these opportunities. And then he gave us this incredible world that we can hand it on to our children and our children's children and he did all of it freely. And then because people turned their back on him, his son came, and the son by his death transformed us. Remember the gospel. He did not come to condemn the world, but to redeem the world. And because of what the son did, death no longer has a hold over me. Death is but the door to a new and eternal day. And then the spirit, the Spirit sustains me. It is the Spirit who gives me hope in the face of darkness and despair. It is the Spirit who gives me forgiveness in the face of betrayal. It is the Spirit who gives me faith in the face of the absurd and the unbelievable. And when you put it all together, you and I are on a fast track to salvation. Amen.